I'm going to do a video today on bending brake lines. Now, there's all sorts of great tools for doing this type of thing, but I'm going to show you the way that I was shown as a teenager growing up fixing old rigs, and the way I was shown was using pulleys. We're going to do some other videos using the other actual brake line bending tools, but I still like these. And one benefit of this, this uh, pulley here, you get this at a uh, dollar store or something, that was under four dollars. This one here I think was like two bucks or something. Um, so anyway, we're going to bend a line in the same basic shape as this guy. Now, just briefly, you might be wondering why I'm bending a line exactly the, uh, the same as a brand new brake line. The uh, reason I'm doing this is because this fitting over here ended up being a different thread, very specific uh, brake line fitting that was on the end of this. As you can see here, this fitting, the original one, is way longer than the standard fitting. And it's got a little different thread, so I have to put this one on the new line. Anyway, let's get to it. So here's the shape I want. This one already fits. Here's the line I'm going to bend. So, basically, uh, I'm going to mention something else here, too. Obviously, you're going to put your fitting on and then do your bending. But you want that fitting to be where wherever it is. Um, before you bend certain points. I'll show you, uh, say, over... We'll use this one as an example. We have to put the fitting on the line. We bend it. We don't want this fitting down here because we're not going to be able to push it back up to there, to the flared end of the line. That's what I'm getting at. So, let's start over on this side. I want a 90 degree here. I can make this 90 degree and put my fitting on afterwards and flare it. So, if I take this length of line, this was a three foot length of line, I think it was less than, oh, four bucks or something like that. I cut the end off it here and got rid of the fitting that was on it. You take your line like that, get approximately where you want to bend, and I've been under the vehicle, so i got a fair bit of leeway on these so we don't have to be too specific with this exact one. But right around there is where I'm going to want a 90 degree. So I'll hold my finger there, take my pulley, da -da -da, stick it through that. So right where my finger is is where I want the bend, so I'll move it up there. My pulley, this edge, is keeping it in place, and because the pulley has the grooved edge inside there, that'll keep this line from compressing. And that's what we don't want, is a compressed brake line. Because if it gets compressed, we're going to start and make a new one. So you see the general idea there. Take that and make about a 90 on that. Now, you notice that, that did not compress the line, roughly the same as where we're going there. As I say, now I'm going to be, next thing I'm going to be doing is put my fitting on it, see if I have a fitting around here, to show you what I'm talking about, sliding that on and flaring it, and I got lots of room to flare it, and uh, I have a video on flaring brake lines too. So now we're going to make a second bend, and I'm going to use my bigger pulley. The reason I'm going to use my bigger pulley, I'm just showing you on the opposite end here. There's my fitting, and this little pulley, the brake fitting, line fitting will not fit through that. So there's the benefit of having the larger pulley. So I'm going to take this pulley off there, and we'll make our second bend. And again, I know that I'm going to be safe to get this pulley off, this big one because it'll pop over that fitting like that. So here we are, second bend we're going to make, holding our first line as a template. I got uh, the two brake lines held together here, and we can see that this point 
we're going to need a bend heading off in that direction. So I kind of got my pulley in there. Now that I know where I'm going with this, I can hold the line as a template. It doesn't really matter now. I'm going to focus on my new line. Start bending that over like that. So, take my pulley off. And you can kind of see here, we're heading in the same basic direction. So that's it for that. Quick and easy process. I have the other uh, bending, uh, brake bending tools, but I still go back to these pulleys. I think they're great.